Yep. This is a fourth update video. Anyways, my name is Francesco Di Francesco, and this is, as I said, the fourth update video of me uh, doing the process of the steel dossiers. I'm back in this squeaky chair, if everybody remembers, inside station house number four. Uh, before doing this, I did rewatch my third one, third update video, so I can know what, what was updated since then. And upon re-watching it, I, uh, I, I don't want to say I was bitter, I don't want to say I was sad, but that was, that was, I was down in that video, let's just say that, simply because I did have a birthday uh, prior to the third video, and um, yeah, it, it wasn't, it wasn't very good. So, uh, if you're watching the third video, um, just excuse the sadness there. I try to be as upbeat as possible there. But anyways, we're on to number four, video four. This is for, uh, four. I just have to say four one more time to make it four. Uh, so to update you from the last time, because last time I said I did the Cosmic Aid, uh, I wrote that into the digital format that was done. And then I wanted to move on to write the Boogeyman. Uh, simply because the Boogeyman was going to be part of season two, and that was the last one I have to write for season two before I can move on to season three. So I just wanted to finish off season two. But every time I look at the Boogeyman and writing that script, it, it kind of gets stopped and blocked. And um, just so you know, in case you don't know, I have written the Boogeyman in the past for... Uh, I have written a different interpretation of Boogeyman in the past for something completely different. So it's not like I'm coming in fresh with the Boogeyman, but uh, it won't be the same Boogeyman that I wrote, just like the Sandman. I've written the Sandman before in the past, and what you see, see in season one is not exactly the same as what you see the last time for another production I wrote the Boogeyman for, uh, the Sandman for. So that's the Boogeyman. So I was, I wanted to get some inspiration uh, for the Boogeyman. Well, what, what I wanted to do is I wanted to write the Boogeyman, as I said, to complete off season two. Uh, and when I tried to write, nothing seemed to flow naturally. So I took it a step back and I decided to watch um, the real Ghostbusters, which again, I rewatched the one that had Deep Devlin in it, which is the devil, which is another one I was wanted to uh, write for the series. And that gave me a lot of inspiration to write that script. So I was um, pencil happy and writing the, the first part of the Deeb Devlin story. When I say first part, I mean the one episode, which will be the last ep episode of season three. So episode six of season three. Uh, so I wrote that. And I, I did change some things, because I said it's, it's inspiration from the real Ghostbusters. In the real Ghostbusters, it is a game show host, but in this one, I made Deep Dublin a movie director, and that's all I'm going to say. Um, but uh, once I wrote that, and I said it's the first part, I want to do a second part of it, which would be episode one of season four. Now the only thing that I'm hesitant on doing is writing that script because it is a season four and I just wanted to focus on the, the second and third seasons. And then at the same time, it's just like, well, if I write that script, I will have an episode for season four. And when I film the Deep Devlin one, I can film the rest of it that same time, as opposed to like, we'll film one here and then who knows when I'll film the next one, right? So look, there's a lot of pros and cons. Uh, I do know what I want to do for that second part of the Deep Dublin story, uh, which is pretty much, it's, it's a continuation from the first part. Uh, but uh, I, I was also a little, like I want to work on the Dorian Gray one, the Dorian Gray script. And I was, I was, I like rewatched the 1945 picture of Dorian Gray film, which is the best interpretation of it, in my opinion, filming wise. Uh, a lot of people say the 2009 one is good. No, no, I like the 1945 one. Uh, and the 1945 is not the original. It's like this, the fifth or sixth uh, 
time they did picture Dorian Gray, so that 1945 one I like the best. Uh, but I rewatched Picture of Dorian Gray simply because I don't have the book and I don't read as fast, so I didn't want to read it that, like read it and not finish the book and be like, well, I don't want to do Dorian Gray anymore. So I watched the film. That gave me some ideas. I will say, because I, I don't give very much away, even though like one or two people is watching this. And chances are, of the two people, that one person watching this is me. Uh, so I don't want to spoil too much here. Uh, but it won't be Dorian Gray per se. I'm going to change his name to Reginald Gray. And uh, the story behind that uh, will explain why he's called Reginald Gray as opposed to Dorian Gray. Uh, but I've, I've half written that one. Oh, the Deep Dublin one. So part one I completely read it and I did the, the digital format. So that's good to go. And I didn't write the second part. And then the, the Dorian Gray one which is called The Cursed Portrait, is half written so far. And I was going to finish writing it. Right now it's in the draft book that I have. Um, and then put it into digital format. However, the Dorian Gray one also leads to another fourth season episode. I wouldn't say it's Dorian Gray himself, but it's other characters from previous episodes, from previous seasons that will be in there. It's almost like a universal storyline I'm going with here. Uh, I, I don't want to say who that is yet, who's in it yet. There's, well, you know it's going to be Reginald Gray since I already let that slip. But I'm not going to say who the other two are uh, going to be in that fourth episode. But that's that one where it's like, do I write it because I'm interested in, in writing it and I have the juices flowing to write it? Or do I hold that one off? simply because it's in a different situation, like the Deep Dublin one, I can film it because there's the characters, the location, I have all that at that same time. So I can film both parts at the same time. Whereas this one, the, 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 the one mashup one, I'll call it, uh, doesn't continue on from a specific episode. So that's where I'm at with these ideas. The Boogeyman one, Every time I try to write it, I just get these um, writer's block blocks to it. Uh, however, the last time, to, to hype up these videos, I did post a picture of uh, Steele dossiers, of Arthur Steele as a... I did make it into a poster, and I like this picture, because it's me standing in a pathway, in a wooded pathway, with a light shining on me. And you get the silhouette somewhat of it. So I, I did that as promo to help get more eyes on, on here. Um, but when I wrote out the, like the description to the promo of the picture, I wrote, I took, I took a film noir quote from a movie, I forget which movie it was, but I changed some of the words to match up with Arthur Steele. So it was, it was something along, along the lines of, okay, Steele, you've, you're a tough guy, you've done this, 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 and this. Now let's see you, Let's see how tough you are by opening the door and seeing if the boogeyman is really in the closet. And after I wrote that, I went, hey, this is kind of good. I want to add that in. So right now there's little bits of the boogeyman that's coming, which I like better as instead of forcing stuff out. It's like a better flow to it. And that's where I'm at. That's where I'm at. It's, it's, it's these three scripts. Well, the, the Deep Dublin one is done. If we forget about the second part of it right now. I'm halfway done the Dorian Gray one. And then I just have to do the Boogeyman one. Then I can focus on those other two. Because each season I want to make six ep episodes. And I'm only missing two slots. I don't know what I'm going to do for these other two. And there's been a couple ideas that have been floating around in my head. Uh, of what I want to do for those other two slots. Like one of them was, so in the first season I did one based on The Undertaker, which is a WWE wrestler. Then I went, why can't it be another wrestler? And then I thought, who could it be? Uh, I thought Bull Nakano, because that would be an interesting kind of thing. Uh, but um, no, nothing was really hitting me there. But uh, I'm sure something sometime will hit me with some inspiration to fill those two slots up. Uh, oh, 
With the Dee Devlin one, because he is a movie director, I need a old-fashioned camera. And I was looking for it, because I don't have many props. Many, many, like, old-fashioned camera props. So I was looking for it, and to get one is like a crazy amount of money. It's like, I don't need it to film anything. I just need something, like, even if it's broken, but, like, a good price. Uh, like, like the phone that you see on Arthur Steele's desk, the rotary phone, I only paid 20 bucks for that. And then the stereo, the radio that looks like old fashioned radio, that was only 50 bucks and that actually works. Uh, so like these, these cameras, they're really expensive. So I went, okay, can I create it? So I started creating a camera. Uh, just made out of like cardboard and some, uh, I, I had some old, you know, those styrofoamy mats you throw on the floor. So I just cut that up and shaped it into the real portion of it. Uh, it's not complete yet, but it's getting there. So I have that there. Um, anything else that has happened? <sighs> Nothing really. Oh! I got one more subscriber here on Rumble, and that brings me up to eight. <laughs> I know what you're thinking, eight, that's it? But you know what? I'm happy with my eight. I like my eight subscribers. I know some people like, well, I wouldn't wait until I get a hundred and then I'll be happy. No, no, I'm happy with my eight. The eight people who have subscribed to me, uh, thank you. Uh, if you're watching these videos, even great, thank you very much. If you're not watching it, I'm still happy that I have the eight subscribers. And whoever is watching this, uh, thank you for sharing your energy uh, with me and um, just listening to me ramble on about stories that I like in this process of creating the Steel dossiers. I have a sneaking suspicion as the closer I get to, you know, casting and filming, then more people I know are gonna be like, so Frank, nudge and nudge, wink, wink, and I'm gonna be like, so, you? Um. Yeah, well, the casting is further down the line. I'm not going to do anything yet. But that's it. Uh, this is probably going to be a shorter vlog with me going, uh, um, ooh, a lot. Um, but yeah, yeah. I'll upload this and uh, that's it. So, because I don't want it to happen the last time, this time I'm actually going to hit the stop button. Have a good one.